G'day, this is Steve Tastic, and today we're going to be covering CQB compound and building clearance. While preparing to assault a compound, one could be forgiven for worrying about what's on the inside. You simply can't be sure about what you'll be walking into. There is, however, a protocol to follow that will give you and your fire team the best chance of survival and success while undertaking this task. Firstly, we're going to cover wall stacking. As your fire team is moving through villages and towns, you will at some point encounter walls, either from buildings, houses, or compounds. Having your back to a wall provides some security and cover for your fire team as it eliminates one direction from which you can be attacked. While stacked on the wall, the team needs to cover a 180 degree sector beginning at the direction of travel and ending to their rear. Each man covers his own 45 degree sector and is responsible for keeping the fire team safe from enemy contact within that sector. Let's take a look at those sectors. The point man watches down the wall in the direction of travel and 45 degrees to the team's flank. The second man, usually the team leader, watches the 45 degrees to the team's flank. The third man covers 45 degrees to the team's flank and slightly behind them. The fourth man, aka the rear guard or tail end Charlie, is usually the automatic rifleman. He covers the team's rear and 45 degrees to their flank. If all team members do their job, the team has a better chance of survival in a hostile urban environment. Wall stacking is also the preparation phase of an assault on a compound or building. While stacked, the fire team leader makes the call as to whether the compound or building you're assaulting should be flashbanged or grenaded. In that case, the third man on the wall gets a better angle on the doorway and waits for the fire team leader's call to deploy a flashbang. In the case of a compound, the man throwing the device can obviously just lob it over the wall of the compound. Once the flashbang or grenade detonates, the team moves into the compound as quickly as possible. The point man declares that he's breaching and the direction he's moving once inside. Something like, breaching right. As a general rule, the point man should breach to the side of the door the team was stacked on. Once through the door, he steps to that side of the compound or building, making sure there's room for his team members to move in behind him. The second man through the door covers the opposite side of the door. It doesn't matter which side of the door the team was stacked on. The second man through the door will always move to the side opposite the first man through the door. This enables the first two team members to cover as many angles of the room as possible, as quickly as possible. Your actions on in this situation all read the same. Get inside no matter what. If you take fire from outside, you ignore it and push in, clearing the enemy once inside. If you do take fire from behind, while making your way in, you can respond once the compound and buildings within it are clear. After the first two members are through the door, the third man moves and shifts to the side of the door that the first man of the team moved to. The fourth man follows suit with the second man so that each member of the team fluidly moved into the building or compound covering as many angles as possible without getting in each other's way. If one of your fire team members are hit by enemy fire while making these maneuvers, you ignore it. Taking out the threat is always the first priority in a CQB situation. It's no good stopping to try and help a teammate only to get blown away yourself. Your job is to clear the compound or building that your team has just moved into to make sure that they don't share his fate. When clearing rooms and buildings, these rules still apply. However, sometimes rooms present interesting challenges that must be dealt with on the fly. For instance, Stairs and doors to other rooms are areas where potential threats could be hiding. The general rule when meeting these potential threats is to deal with those on your side of the room and to cover the closest threat first. It's all well and good if the room you've entered is clear, but moving past a door on your left to cover some stairs you see may end up getting you shot. You're better off stopping and dealing with the closest threat so that the other members of your team can move in and deal with the next one. These potential threats, of course, need to be managed after the room has been cleared of enemies. Potential threats like this will require some flexibility, and after the room is cleared and all potential threats are covered, the fire team leader makes the call on which room is to be cleared next. 
More often than not, in a situation like this, the third and fourth man are left behind to cover the potential threats that have not been cleared, or to provide security against threats that may be following the team into the building. Dealing with corners in a CQB setting can be tricky. One minute, the team has 180 degrees to worry about, the next minute they have 270. There's a surefire way to cover all your sectors while you clear a corner, but it's time consuming, and so best left for a situation where you know you could take fire from any direction. First, the point man declares that there's a corner that needs to be cleared. Next, he steps off the wall and covers the fire team's front and slightly around the corner. This ensures that there isn't a nasty surprise waiting just on the corner. Next, the second man moves up to the corner and takes a knee to peek around the corner. Once the second man is set, the point man covers the team's front and 45 degrees to their flank. When these sectors are covered, the two remaining members are able to pass between the first and second man and stack up on the other side of the wall. All that's left is for the first and second man to complete the maneuver. This changes up the order of march. As such, each team member needs to understand where their new sectors lie and cover them while the team continues to move through the AO. This has been CQB Compound Building and Corner Clearances from Ruffling Matters. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and check out the rest of our videos. Thanks a lot, guys.